Let me go sign in real quick before we get started. You can sign in as a legal aid, by the way. <laughs> Get some money. What's going on? Lord Commander, Lord Commander Supreme Admiral, what is wrong with you? Saddam Hussein, I kneel before your presence. Do I look like I gassed the Kurds, Rami? Obi Wan Kenobi, don't worry. Oh. <laughs> don't, uh... Supreme Commander Crane. Oh my God, we're so sorry. <laughs> All right, I kneel before do? your presence, right, Saddam Hussein. What did you do, Mr. Mayor? Please Who forgive us. Murder? <laughs> I'm not the mayor. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Let's be real. You, you pretty much are. Ah uh, no. <laughs> God no. We have a few uh, issues at hand here. Hey, what's going on? Badge number 114 or 141. Badge number 141. Slacks. What did he do? Badge number 182. Ruth. Ruth. Captains? Yes. Mm -hmm. What'd they do? <laughs> what didn't what, they do? What? Yeah, exactly. Corruption. Uh, not properly uh, doing their job. Disobeying SOPs. Targeted arrests? Yep, diso breaking SOPs? Biased policing? Mm -hmm. uh -oh. People getting shot and they arrest the people that got shot that are GSR negative and let the people go that had knives to people's throats and are the ones that shot. It's just, this is getting out of hand and it's getting fucking ridiculous. It's absolutely disgusting. Uh, who, who do we go to? That's above the, the, the captains. We assume you, Lord Admiral. So, we are <laughs> in the process of setting up an oversight board, which will review allegations of police misconduct. <laughs> uh, if you feel that you have a case, the person who uh, heads that board right now is Lance Mull. Okay. Now, now, let me ask a question. Can an officer break SOPs if they're not even public? Hmm. I don't smoke mm -hmm. enough marijuana for that answer. Mm -hmm. Something to bring up at the next council meeting, Supreme. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't... I don't even know. What What does that even mean? What do you it mean? like does a bear shit in the woods if you don't see it? Let him? me ask you does a question, Craig. How are people in the council uh, elected? Uh, which ones? Just in general. Okay, so there's the mayor, which y'all voted on. There's the deputy mayor, which is the runner-up, so second place. Uh, the mayor gets to appoint their chief of staff, which is a council position. Uh, then there's the healthcare liaison, which is voted on by EMS and doctors. There's the PD liaison, which is voted on by PD and DOC. There's the head of the bar, which is voted on by lawyers and judges. And then there's uh, Chief Justice, which is me, he started the council basically. And then uh, there's the treasurer, which was selected by a panel uh, as we were setting up the council. And that's Ed So Ed all, all these people pretty much negate the mayor. So what the mayors mean? pretty much can do nothing. No, actually it's the opposite. So the mayor- uh, Can you speak up by the way? Yeah, uh, the mayor has, so his vote, obviously his chief of staff is probably going to vote with him, right? So that's two. Uh, so if the mayor gets the deputy mayor and one other person to vote his way, he wins any vote because if it's a 4-4 tie, the mayor's vote carries. Hello, sir. Hello. Good to see you. Uh, the mayor's office is at the... Uh, it's fourth floor in the building. Fourth floor? Okay. Yeah. Do I just go up the stairs... Until yep. The floor, then? Okay. That's how it usually works, isn't it? Mm hmm. Uh, but yeah. Uh, in fact, I think you know the civilian side of the board probably has more power than the government side. I understand all all these people in power, right? The, the treasurer handles the the money, whatever. What does the mayor handle then? 
Well, what do you mean? The mayor is the one who sets uh, tax policy, business policy, etc. Okay. Is it not in the legislation here? Yeah, it's also described in the legislation. Yeah. Well, they can't pass stuff unless it, unless the council votes on it, no? So, as a group, we can all propose generalized legislation, right? Which is making laws, which is a representative democracy. So we all vote, right? Like a Congress. But in terms of like, for example, tax policy, the mayor sets that himself. Um, in terms of, let's say, like uh, common law, like Rami goes into a bench trial and he won that one case about the hit and run thing. So we made a common law based on that case, right? So those are things that go into practice that aren't voted on because we each have our respective sort of domains. But in terms of like introducing sweeping legislation, yeah, everyone votes on it. Hmm. You know, you ever, you ever heard that, like, I'm just a bill, you know, that whole song? It's like that. So, uh... Huh. Um... Well, why, why was the, uh... Can you explain to me in your eyes why you, why you voted against the pardon thing? Uh, which one? The, oh, the pardon? Yeah. Uh, because, well, first of all, no one's ever had that power. Oh, you that's guys not true. Your voting? Yes, well, back in the day, back in the day. When, how far back in the day? When uh, Denzel was mayor and he pardoned Mel Rickenbacker right okay, before he's about to get not, death. But that, okay, but so again, that's uh, basically what clemency is, which is where you prevent someone that's from being executed. Uh, and respectfully, but pardon, I'm not talking to you. But pardon in the way that it was suggested, Rami was literally uh, any crime can be wiped off the person's record and they can be released. That's a very but different thing than clemency. You can get a private audience, but you're out here in front of God and everybody. Man. Right, so if there's an A and B conversation, you should see your way out, man. Thank you. No, you can, you can do that outside in front of God and everybody. Thank you, Chris. So keep going? Fucking Karen so, over here. No, I don't spit and sputter or anything no. like you. Either. Sounds like you do. I'm telling you. The fuck out of my face, please. Thank you. Oh, have a good one. Would you like he to go inside, really... Rami? Yeah, sure, we can. Yeah, exactly. He needs to really maybe like, rethink his inside. whole stance. Here. Oh, oh, shit. All right. We'll do. Yeah. Shitting on my accent is a low blow. And be... Sounds good. Nobody cares. Who is that? I have no idea, bro. Is she that Holy fuck. I Fucking Karen, bro. Her. Holy shit. Do you know who that is? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Why is she? The fuck? I don't know what's happening. She keeps butting in on something that we're asking you. It's like, bro, respectfully, we're not talking to you. All right, this is better here. Little, she got, she got insulted. Yeah. Yeah, we can just chill here. Um, so yeah, uh, the pardon thing, uh, I basically said that... That's, that's a wall. <laughs> I basically said that I think that uh, it's like too broad because for example, I was, I, I think the one before made sense, right? So it's like, uh, you know, cops find someone who, let's say in Mel's case, like murders somebody, right? Uh, the cops press charges, you go to court, judge oversees the hearing and the trial. Person's found guilty, you know, judge, let's say, after reviewing all the evidence says, oh, this, you're a horrible person, this is heinous, and you, you should die, right? Death penalty. Uh, I could totally understand how the mayor, who's like the political will of the people, right, could say, look, uh, you definitely were a bad person. You definitely, you know, committed the crime and the sentence was correct when it was handed out. But we believe in mercy and repentance and whatever. Right. And sometimes, it, you know, it's a good thing in society to give people, you know, second chances. So uh, this guy, you know, has shown throughout his incarceration that he's willing to change and he's been a positive force of other people. Maybe he's like one of those jailhouse lawyer guys. Is, is that's what you're trying to do game. now, correct? No, no, no. So what I'm saying is, is so I understood then when that was in practice, right? It made sense. Right, right. When Denzel could like pardon I agree, him. I agree. What I don't, what I didn't vote for, and I said this in the meeting. I'm just asking, by the that, way. I'm not like pressing. I'm, no, no, I'm really I, curious. I understand. I'm, hey, I've never been mad at discussion. Yeah. Um, you know me. Um, what I said in the meeting and why I didn't vote for it is because the way it was presented it was not just stopping someone from being, let's say, put to death. It was quite literally 
the mayor at any time for any reason could take anyone who had been in jail for a quarter of their sentence, let them out of jail, and remove the charge off their record. Okay, and so... I that, and I thought that without any kind of oversight or any kind of, you know, uh, any balance, that I thought that was probably uh, a bit too powerful because, and I'll say this why, let's say, Rami, you get elected mayor, right? No, no, I understand, right? And Kay goes and, and you, shoots and up the whole mission row, and then I come in well, and no, just no, pardon him. No, 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 not even that, not even that. Let's just say you get elected mayor, and you know that you're not going to run for a second term or something, right? Yeah. And, or let's just say you decide halfway through, and let's be fair, this is totally realistic and possible. You decide halfway through being mayor that this is boring, and I want to go you right. know, okay. do a meth run or whatever, right? <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. So you might be like, the night before, you're like, fuck it, I'm going to do a meth run anyway. So why don't I just pardon a bunch of people in exchange for them giving me a prize okay. or whatever some shit, right? Uh, no, we haven't. Uh, no, I have not. Sorry. Oh, darn. Okay, uh, okay so let me ask so you a I question. Said, so what if, no, what if I... Rami just goes and pardons a bunch of people knowing he doesn't care about getting impeached? Right? Agreed. What's agreed. stop him from doing that? I completely agree with that, right? So can Excuse I ask? Can me, I... Did y'all see a clown running? Oh. No, no clowns. No, no, we haven't. You're... I can't just get the worst times, bro. And so oh. I said... You know, if there was some kind of like Fuck, limit bro. to it, right? Like one of the things we discussed as a group was, what if uh, you couldn't do any pardons in the last clown like, run through here? No, Carmine, only you. Um, I'm not a clown, Crane. So, so, so can I ask you a question? Yeah, so we discussed like options, like yeah, what yeah. If, for okay. example, you couldn't do it the last week of your mayor term. What if, for example, uh, you know, uh, the mayor got to nominate people for pardons and then he would pitch it to like a group who yeah. agreed with him. Or right. Not, you know, right. Like middle ground. Right. Is what I was talking about. And, and so w these other options, like, okay, yeah, the idea of a pardon is cool. The idea of a pardon is cool, but like, let's adjust your, your proposal here. How come, why would, like, is that on the table or is it just like. Yeah, we talked about them resubmitting it next week with more options. Okay. All right. Now, um, Okay, so there is like a possibility that this gets put through. Cause I'm, I'm okay. All right. Um, I mean, shit. I mean, the only thing I have left is like uh, my MDT as a lawyer. Like, listen, man. At this point, I mean, little by little, more and okay, more. So we are. So first of all, you should be able to see the names of people with warrants. I don't know why that disappeared. However, uh, I'll tell you very clearly. Even five years ago, lawyers were never supposed to be able to see how long the warrants were for and what they were. Okay, but can I ask you a question? Sure. Wh why not? Well, why would that information be public? Um, okay, fair enough. Like, why would the PD openly be like, hey, we're looking for this guy for this crime. Hope he doesn't just hide in his house until the duration is over. Well, I mean, I mean, anybody would be able to figure that out, right? Then you might as well show anything at all. If you don't want that happening, then... Well, like, that's why I'm saying it wasn't supposed to be shown. It was only just supposed to be that you, if you have, uh, uh, remember so can I ask you in like, you, you know, other, you know, what about name? like other counties or other cities? Is it public knowledge for, if somebody has a warrant for their arrest? It is, is it not? To be honest around me, I think I'm too much of a goody two shoes to know that or not. Oh, I could have had a warrant, bro. I, th I, I, I thought never had a warrant. <laughs> Pussy. Come on. I'm just saying like, it, it would be nice as a lawyer to like, you know, get a little bit more, you know, see some reports or see Listen, reports right. only for like dude i I'm can't not, see shit like it's up. like I'm everything not, is 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 hard is anything. stuck if every you, yeah, if you have a suggestion I'm, I'm i'm open to hearing it all i'm telling you is is that right now uh in terms of like suggestions right so you want to see like the names of people with warrants okay I get uh, so i'll tell you let me tell you something right now right i'll tell you why there's only like five lawyers in this fuck it's i'm exaggerating right there's only like five lawyers in the city right okay now the amount of emailing and shit that needs to occur all because of a simple check mark of me me being able to see like a report a report for the past 24 hours or like a warrant it is 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 insane well, that, that all, it's that just actually, all it's actually, all you know unnecessary reformed, right? it's it's preposterous it you really is reformed right how did that get reformed cuz for me to see a report uh, i have to like fucking email things. tom dick and harry to send me the report when instead i can just fucking see the report like it, it's just like you, if you're bar certified, you should be trusted that you're you're you know you're acting under good law. And if you found otherwise, then then you get disbarred. Why remove it what all from you, people? Hold on, hold on. The problem is, is that for what you're talking about, uh, 
there would be no way in real time to determine if the cops are still investigating or not and still let you see the report. See what I'm saying? Well, there should be, then on their end, they should be able to, like, you know, mark that as, like, you know, it, like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not asking However, to look at investigation say, reports. However, I'm looking to just look at say, reports that are already... Malton, yeah, go ahead. Malton just, Malton just published something just the other day that says, in cooperation with PD, uh, there's a new system that allows for instant FOIA as long as you re meet the requirements below. Uh, one, the incident occurred at least five days ago. Bro, listen. Two, I, I... you can prove you're representing the person. And three, the incident is not active. And if all if you meet those, then you just get it in. A, a simple answer to your question about uh, why it shouldn't be, a, like, how do they, if they're doing investigations, they, they can just, they can, no, they can just, no, I'm not. I'm asking to visually see on my MDT. They can just redact information. But, Who the fuck is spam calling me, bro? Why should every report have to be redacted instead of the other way around? If I don't pick up the first Rami, 20 times, what Pina is Pina is making me. He's making me spam call you. Uh, he wants you to come to the sack right now. Go ahead. I'm saying, well, wouldn't it make more sense for everyone that they only redact the things they're giving out and not redact everything? Yeah. Right, so why would they allow you to see everything and have to redact Then redact it? the whole thing, then, if that's the case. Right, they have a, sep they have a separate investigations tab for a reason. Correct or no? Uh, so they... There's two things. I shouldn't be... Lawyers should not be penalized and, like, have to do everything all because the cops don't want it to happen. There should be a leeway. I shouldn't have to send oh, okay, 25 million emails. Hold on. I'm it, it, With respect, Rami, you gotta... You gotta... Okay, so the way the, the thing I think the thing you're asking for, Malton literally put together. I can't even see it. No, you can because he announced it in the lawyer area. Did you read it? In the Discordia? Here's Malton here. Hey, Malton. What's up? Rami is unhappy that he has to send a million emails to get a report. I was just telling him, I think you've already solved that problem. Yeah, it's just the, the, the molten thing is that you just go down and request a report. If it's an incident, they should be giving it to you unless it's still classified as ongoing for whatever yeah, you reason. You already solved this problem, Rami. Yeah. Are they not giving wow, you... Um, you guys don't understand what I'm saying, but it's fine. Like, I don't want to have oh. to do it throughout the city. Like, I'd rather just be able to You open... don't have to. So how do I get a report sent to me? Oh, my God, Rami. You, if you just go to a cop and say, hey, not I need this what I'm report. Saying, I, understand, what, what are you saying? I understand what you're saying. Like, I, I forget it. Forget it. He wants to read it on his actual phone. Yeah, yes. I don't want to have to fucking download a fucking 30 different files and then do this and that. Like, it's, it's Oh, it's, that. Yeah, fine. Yeah, I hear you. Bro, Crane, you're uh... so dumb, dude. Like, you're Crane. You're in G6, Crane? I'm just saying the lawyer should have some no, more. I found this they should be able to do a little bit more, you Bro, know what I mean? Seven. I you didn't even like recognize you, uh, you, if I could be honest. Have a mountain of gold somewhere. I can open up that Chat, lawyer RP yeah, are, uh, is the only thing are you that has like not a, evolved a in, in the server yeah, since like 1.0. It's been the well, same thing since like 1.0. Yeah, that's so why I think you know. all click, click. Yeah. yeah. You can't do anything. Um. I mean, you were probably around during those days, Crane. How was it? Rami, really? I will look into if there's a way, for example, that a report could be shared with a lawyer so you can see it in your MDT. Yeah. Um, I get what you're saying. I get the thing about the files. I understand that. Uh, I'm just, I'm trying to figure out a way that, uh, it can be shared with you in the tablet. And actually, I think that might be able to be solved. But again, that requires, you know, the technician. So let yeah, me talk yeah, to yeah, them yeah. and see what do we your, can do. Do your thing. No, I get you. I'll, I'll reach out. Yeah, of course. Of I course. will. I'm not, I'm not bullshitting. I will. Yeah. You could, uh, in theory, you could lump that in with like the bench trial request that I did. And just like, a, yeah, a we're, reception. so we're, we're working on, we're working on this idea where, uh, and maybe, you know, like Malton said, it's the same thing for a bench trial where an incident report could just be like, kind of like, you know how you have contracts on your phone and you can share them via state ID. Mm -hmm. It's like, maybe you could do the same thing. So you have an incident report and then maybe you could add state IDs to the incident report and it would allow them to view yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Know. Yeah, exactly. And that would be the same thing for bench trials. So instead of yeah. having to like get each other's email and send the file, you could just add the person to the incident report on their state ID and allow them to view yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. So I'll uh, I'll reach out and work on that. Yeah, let me know. Might be able to do. Like yeah, maybe sure. view permissions on the report or something. I just hate All doing right, that now. shit, bro. I don't. Wanna... I got a second question for you. Yeah, what's up? Now it's my turn to be pissed off. How come you fucking started a business with investment opportunities and didn't offer me the chance to invest? 
Uh, I didn't. It was Mr. K. I mean, when he's off the phone, I'll pitch it to him. Ursula said that uh, you were part of it. Yeah, but I, not really. I was like, I was just on the outer, outer side. He'll, he, K can still do it. He'll, uh, what they do is they basically, well, you guys, this is at the council meeting. You guys, deni didn't you guys deny it? Yeah, well, what, but I don't, I don't know shit about it. All I know is I got a business proposal. Why is K beating the shit out of people? Peanut, it's fine. <sighs> Valid. Oh, okay. That's fine. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's fucking All, peanut, all you know? I know is that I literally walked into the business, the, the meeting, and we got a proposal legislation about uh, trust and real estate invest, investment trust reform act of whatever the fuck. And Rami, uh, you know, I'm pretty old, right? So I remember things that happen. Uh, and that exact law was a thing that happened under, you know, Billy Clinton in another city. Yes. So I was kind of taken aback, like, what the fuck is this? And then I start reading it, and it starts talking about shit that we don't have here, like trusts and mortgages and fucking who knows else what. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing good. How are you? Uh, I'm listening. Yeah. So I'm just, I'm just trying to understand exactly what's going on, because I didn't really get it. And I was going to talk to Siobhan to try to understand, but I, I didn't really get a good understanding of it, because it was a fucking mess of gobbledygook I mean, I terminology. Didn't, I, didn't, I didn't write that up. You talk about the tenant agreement? I wrote the tenant agreement, but I didn't write anything. I didn't write the other the investor agreement. I don't know. It was the, the bill, the legislation. It was like... Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe... Stuff if, about if, trust and mortgages and... Maybe... Maybe... Interest the re and, may, may, 2024. May, maybe the, uh, the people that... The business proposal should be proposed by the people that want it in front of the council instead of it getting relayed through the mayor. Well, looks like someone had a bit of a whoopsie. <laughs> okay. I'll take him. Let's talk first. Yeah, I was talking about oh, some God. section oh, K. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, 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 uh. Nope, nope, nope. What? Skip. No, the, Not you, that. Yeah. Uh, I was talking to Crane here about section K. Ah, section K real estate. We're doing yeah, big things uh, in the city, helping the community. Yeah, Malton and I heard something about the Real Estate Investment Act during our meeting, but we didn't really get a good understanding because it was kind of a oh, lot of gobbledygook. Yeah, it was a lot of gobbledygook, though. It was like something from another city, you know? It was like like one of them copy-paste deals. Wait, uh, <laughs> no, no, it was, it was, it's all pretty solid. I mean, it's um, this helps with taxes, and we can help better provide housing for people in the city because no one can afford a fucking house. Right, and uh, Rami was saying he thinks in the future you guys should just come present your ideas directly instead of running them through other people. Yeah, because you lose, oh, you lose translation. To. I, I, I want to do some real estate legislation to help, uh, help, help people build their future and find places to live while also uh, maybe grow their, you know, and do some investing. And I want to propose uh, HOA policies. Uh, people can set up HOAs in certain neighborhoods based on certain criteria. Um, a bunch of stuff, yeah. Hold on one second. Sir, can I help you? Uh, I don't that's know just... how to whistle. You with you, Rami? Uh, I don't, okay. I don't uh, claim that, no. Uh, okay. so, well, that's Richard, he's just... Uh... If I'm trying to understand the agreements and everything, I should talk to Siobhan, right? She wrote them? Yeah, I could send you one of our... You want to see like one of my contracts with one of my investors? Uh, yeah, I think Siobhan said she could share with me too. I just, we only, we only saw the, the legislation and honestly it was fucking confusing because the big problem, K, is that it had a lot of terms in there that we don't even have in this city, like trusts and mortgages and, uh, it's kind of like putting the cart before the horse, you know what I mean? Like, for example, we're Simps talking so about... We to, to simplify it. You're talking about establishing like tenant landlord agreements, and it's like, well, hold on, we don't even have a definition for what it takes to be a landlord or how they're regulated or what rights tenants have or any of those things. Well, can I be the uh, head of that? I mean, I I'm literally doing it. I'm actually doing it. I have properties. I have tenants. Well, it I wouldn't could, make I sense. It wouldn't make sense for 
a businessman to be the head of like regulation, right? Kind of be defeating um, the purpose. Well, I wouldn't be the head of it, but I could help like propose it and uh, show you guys firsthand, you know, you know, the possibility. Yo, I appreciate that prime. Shut up. Also how I got you though. I'll, I'll think the subs in a minute chat. What I'm saying is I'd love to take you guys to some of my property, show you how it works. Show you some of the paperwork. Show you the potential. I mean, I'm gonna be real with you. There's you some people here the that are invested. Okay. You know? Oh, you got like it's not just like small fries like Ursula. You got bigger names. No, 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 oh, bro. I, we, I you have, have actual. Judges, yeah. I have lawyers. I have doctors. I have police. Multiple cops. Uh, one of my properties, I'm I'm renting out. No, to the I PD wasn't as a, a PD watchtower on the south side. Another property has a, a record label in it, along with a, a tow trucker as one of the tenants. I All have right. um, Murphy as one of the tenants. I'm doing a rent to own with Popular Motors, and I have another one lined up with a lady named Kate and her husband. Yeah, hey, we got some lawyers There's too. People that really want to buy a property, get out of the apartments, so they can expand their life, but they All can't right. because it's crazy expensive. So what I do, I raise money from investors. I give them a proper deal where they're going to make good, safe money on top of the money because they just got sitting in banks anyway. We buy these properties, and then I work out a deal. Let's say we bought the property for two hundred thirty thousand with tax. We'll do it. We'll do it. Okay, we'll do a rent to own. For two hundred seventy-five thousand over like eight weeks. So as the house is appreciating, they're paying off over time by renting, and then eventually, when they hit that number, they own the house. We make a little profit. We pay all the investors, and uh, do it all again. All right, and uh, hmm. so yeah, doctors, lawyers, judges. Mm, Cops. Might help anybody on the council with me. I could talk to that's experienced or who's on the council. I'm not sure. Uh, Max, the mayor, his chief of staff is Juno. Siobhan? Siobhan uh, Siobhan's not on the council, no. Um, on the council? Yeah. I mean, uh, Max is an investor on one of them. Oh, okay. Um, That's cool. Dakota's uh, who the else? Cop. Dakota the cop's on the council. No, Dakota's not in it. Okay, uh, well, Cantor? An, an Cantor is a doctor? No, she's not. No, and okay. Simone's deputy mayor, he'd be the last one. No, he's not either. All right. Well, um, tell you what, let me talk to Siobhan because I think she knows all the legal gobbledygook. Um, and then maybe we could have you guys like uh, talk before the council because I think it might help hearing it from the horse's mouth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I have like tons of investors. So people are in it. Wait, what are you guys money, talking about? And it's we're not fucking over the people we're running this shit out to. You know, they're getting good housing for a reasonable price. Um, the margins aren't crazy, uh, and it helps them kind of fast forward their life. All right. Okay. Um, well, I'll, I'll go talk to Siobhan because I think I'm keeping her waiting. I was supposed to talk to her like a fucking hour ago. Um, Rami, I will talk to the technicians about trying to get in what you wanted. Yeah. Um, like Malton already said, we're already working on the whole bench trial idea, so it might be easy to just sort of segue it and say, hey, this might be good for FOIAs too. Yeah. Um, and that way you don't have to, you know, yeah, get let files me know. elsewhere. And all that. Also, uh, I forgot. You're not the one tomorrow. Well, who's that? Hollow? Uh, Hollow is the judge tomorrow, man. Mer uh, sure. Mer okay. All right. Well, okay, you're going to... Cool. All right. I got you. I'll, right, I'll, I'll, I'll get call with you guys after. a little bit later. I'm going to get with Siobhan. Right, Thank bro. you guys for yeah. your info. Bye. See you. Okay.